Well, hey, long time no see. I was supposed to post this video a long time ago, but whatever. Let's get right into it. We're going to do a refill on these nails. Um, my previous video on these nails will be linked in the cards. I believe that was my previous video. But yeah, we're taking all this bling off because we're doing Deftones nails because these were for um, my concert that I went to. <laughs> I saw them on April 18th so had to do my nails for the occasion if you you know if I'm going to a concert if I'm going if I'm going to see somebody yeah we are doing the nails so we're doing the nails for the occasion so um, yeah I'm using my game changer bit to file down uh, that chrome and then you know filed off the top coat then we're getting into prep I'm just pushing my cuticles back or my epidemic game is back that is the proper turn. That's not the cuticle. I'm scraping off the cuticle now with the other end of the cuticle pusher. And now I'm going to use a cuticle bit from Nail Art House to uh, file off that dead cuticle. And I'm going to go uh, both ways. Then we're going to spray our nails down with alcohol. Wipe off all the dirt and dust. Blah, blah, blah. I'm going to do one coat of Vita Prime very uh lightly and then i'm going to do um or i believe i do two coats of vita prime and then i'm going to do a coat of tack as well and those are from light elegance and i do cure tack in the lamp for 60 seconds just filling in my growth with some clear acrylic from glitter bells nothing special about this part um i believe this was like a two-week refill and then I had to fix the tip of my middle finger because I broke it off. I don't remember how I broke this one off. Um, it might have been from like digging in a, in a utensil drawer in the kitchen or something. I broke my tips off of these nails like three times, I think. Or two or three times with this set because I was just being so reckless. I'm going to fix up the shape, mostly filing down on the top of the nail, the surface of the nail and crisping up that shape gotta have it sharp because i like them so sharp that i hurt myself so now onto the design i'm starting out by making some spikes with a mold this might look familiar to you if you are an avid watcher of my channel these molds i first used on my love killer nails my monster x nails i'll link that video on the cards i'm making them black because i'm going to be putting red chrome on them so black will be a great base oh my target is ready I gotta go pick it up. I'm so hungry. I have to cook dinner. Anyway, that's what I was waiting for. And further in the video, I'll probably talk more about my issue with this set. But, um, yeah, I had a real big issue with the chrome. Like, I was throwing up and crying about it. So, after I make those... Also, those were really hard to make. Um, because sometimes the acrylic didn't get all the way through. So, that was frustrating. Um, so now I'm going to paint my nails black. Because, like I said, we're going to have a black base for the chrome. Helps to get that, like, nice, deep red color. And this is Black Panther from Jelly Feek. I love this color. I only needed one coat. I made sure that it was a nice coat of black. So I only had to do one. Nobody's trying to do um, two coats. We don't have time for that. And I didn't want this to be like too bulky or anything at the tip. While I have some time to talk about other things, the Deftone show was amazing, by the way. Um, so good. I went with my mom. She had a great time, too. She was really feeling Gojira, actually. Like, she really liked Gojira, and I did, too. Um, but yeah, this is my second time doing Deftone's nails. Uh, the first time I did Deftone's nails was Knife Party inspired. I'll put a picture of that up here. I wish I would have recorded me doing those, but I was really experimenting and I wasn't sure where I was going. I wasn't sure how they would turn out. And like, I just wanted to focus on doing the nails and not so much of filming. Um, but yeah, I do have like a how I did them on my TikTok. I'm very, very active on TikTok. So you can check that out there. And I have a Deftones nail playlist um, on my TikTok for you to access that really easily. <laughs> So now what I'm doing is putting on these spikes on the pinky. That part, like that part was easy. The part that was hard was putting the chrome on it. 
and then now so the reason why i did this Swarovski that that stone first was because i just thought that like i don't know i thought with the placement of the spikes that i had to just do it and then put still put on the chrome because it wouldn't i don't know i thought that i wouldn't get the placement right and i wanted the spikes to look like they were like a part of the nail you know what i mean i think i could have gotten away with not doing it like that um and just putting the spikes on after the chrome but I wanted it to look like it was like a whole flowing, like the spikes were like, like I said, like a part of the nail, like they're growing out of the nail. Then now I'm doing some lips because You've Seen the Butcher is a very sexual song. Can I say sexual? It's a very promiscuous song and um, the video is also very promiscuous. So I had to do some kissy lips. I originally, thought of doing like kissy bling like kissy lip bling but i didn't i didn't really want to do that i ended up doing blood splatter bling i'll show that later too but yeah i'm using some black sculpture gel to sculpt the lips i start out by doing like some little cylinders and then i do the cupid's bow and then i'm kind of the first lip i did it didn't turn out how i really wanted the rest of them to turn out the one that i'm doing right now is how i wanted all of them to turn out and i finally got the hang of like the curved ends of the lips curving up so that it's kind of like seductive and like charming a little bit so that was my goal <laughs> You can see a little better on this third one that I'm doing too, how I'm curving the ends of the lips up so that it's kind of like in a smile. And then this nail was kind of a blah, like I was just like, whatever, just do this little heart and forget about it in spikes because I, I don't really remember my thought process anymore. It, that's how long it's been. But I just needed to do something and you know put some design on a nail so i did a heart and then i still did the spikes the heart didn't really turn out that good it was just okay i've done better sculpture gel hearts in my life but yeah i just had to do something you know can't just leave it blank i was really worried that this set would be really repetitive but i mean i i really ended up liking it so now i'm top coating i'm top coating the spikes and i'm top coating um the nail itself but I didn't get many clips of me putting on the chrome because like I said the chrome was giving me a lot of trouble it wasn't sticking normally to the nails like it wasn't sticking with um, as you can see here it was not sticking with that applicator I had to use my finger but the problem with using my finger was that it was incredibly hard to get in the crevices with the spikes and in between them like on the sides of the nail where there's no spike but there's still like a little bit of the edge of the nail I had to apply this chrome with my finger and it was so frustrating this chrome was from hot tips beauty now I was not aware that this would be a problem I have a metallic chrome from Etsy that I love that I can use either an applicator or my finger I like to start with an applicator honestly and then use my finger to smooth it out so that it looks more solid um but this was just hell honestly i was having a terrible time but scratch that nothing and nothing else was working by the way it only my finger i did some more bling i did a french uh style kind of bling i wish i didn't use this mirror as my nail holder but it's okay i've learned my lesson um, so now I'm doing the blood splatter bling. I was really scared that this wouldn't translate as a blood splatter and it didn't to my mom and usually she's able to like tell me if stuff translates. Like she recently told me that something on my nail translated and I was like, oh, okay. But I think it still looked really cool. Like it's still like this, you know, the sparkle and shine from the bling still looked amazing. I just think I was, I should have maybe done like a better job at like figuring out what shapes to do. But that's it. That's it for this design, y'all. Like I said, this, uh, the concert was amazing. I had such a good time. I really would love to like redo the day all over again. But yeah, I love Deftones, so this is my homage to Deftones.
So thank you guys so much for watching. I will have another video for my birthday nails coming up real soon, so stay tuned for that. There are some really exciting deco dead nails, so make sure you subscribe and hit the bell so you're notified when that video is uploaded. Leave a like, and I will see you in the next one. Bye!